Hello all! Today I am making some whipped gathered trim for my 1890s yellow gown. And I have sewn up a tube of fabric, turned it, and pressed it. And now I'm going to fold it and whip the edge to gather it. Um, this technique is very popular with pinked edges in the 18th century, but you see it through history, and I've actually taken this tube directly from an 1890s bodice I have. So to run the gathers, I am making sure to catch both edges in that fold. I'm probably about an eighth of an inch from the fold and about a quarter of an inch stitches with this fabric because it's a heavier weight satin and I'm working with two layers. If I was working with um, like taffeta that's been uh, pinked like a single layer for maybe some 18th century gowns like the red gown I just shared, um, I'd be working the stitches much closer together and um, much closer to the edge to make a tighter gather but you kind of have to work with your fabric. And here I am making sure to bite in far enough to catch both edges. You can also see the seam from where I turned it. I offset the seam from the very center back so that it wouldn't be adding extra bulk to that gathered area. Now, after I've taken a few inches of stitches, that's when I go to draw it up. So I'm gonna keep tension on my thread and slowly gently guide the gathers down now you don't want them to be too tight um, you kind of want to aim for just about a one to one and a half ratio of gathers that's pretty much what you see on historical clothes um, you don't too tight it kind of makes it look a little modern um, and then I take a couple of back stitches just to secure every few inches. And you can see there when I open it up, it's gonna be those nice, nice kind of soft gathers. And here I'm going to just open it on my ironing board. I pin one end and then use a little bit of steam to kind of coax those open. And I hope this goes without saying, but do as I say and not as I do and be careful of your fingers. <laughs> um, I have a pretty high heat tolerance and I've still burned myself. Um, you can hold these down with either gloves or you can um, use maybe chopsticks to hold them apart. But once you go through and you kind of softly press those, you have a really lovely textured trim to add to many different eras.